Hello friends, I have been up and ready this early for to do nothing. I mean, I've gotten up and gotten ready to go places, but I haven't gotten up and gotten ready. Anyway, it's 9.50. Jason just got home from his hike. What time did you end up going? I got out of bed at like five. Did you want to go earlier? Oh, I set them up for 5.20. I just couldn't sleep, so I got up at five. Oh, okay. And then I just took off and yeah. So we'll show you, did you get footage? I did. You didn't get the drone up, right? I couldn't get the drone up. The wind was too too much, but I got a cool panoramic and a little bit action shots on the trail. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. I'm going to clean up. Okay, I am here up the road from, uh, I'm going to go do Humpback Ridge. I've done it before, a long time ago. It's kind of a steep little hike with a beautiful view at the top and uh, kind of go from there. So I'll show you along the way. Oh, there's a lot of bugs. <laughs> All right, bye. So as you're walking, you come to this little tiny, you might even miss it, but this little tiny trailhead, and that's what takes you up into the trees and up the ridge. So that's the beginning of the trail. Look at this beautiful, beautiful ridge line. Just amazing. Okay, so I don't know what time it is. Been going a little bit. We're up here to this beautiful little ridge line here. Gonna go through the trees a little bit, then we'll pop out in some rocks. Gonna go up to the summit a little while, a little yeah, a little while longer. But it's super beautiful. Come see the uh, beautiful views from the top. Okay, so we reached the top and there's some snow. Just gotta go up here and then back over there is the top. It's kind of a breeze. I was hoping to get the drone up, but the breeze scares me. I don't want to lose the drone up here. So we'll see. I'll show you the view on the other side. Quarter to nine, the girls came in my room. I'm like, okay, we're gonna go jump on the trampoline over at their friend's house. And, and I was like, it's not even nine. And they were like, yeah. And I was like, okay, but chores need to get done. Chelsea hasn't done the dishes. But they're out, already out playing and having fun. So I just thought, oh, I might as well get up and get things done. I've already got a load of laundry in and working on video now, I had breakfast. It's gonna be hot today. It's gonna be like 90, 91, which is like unheard of here in Seattle before the 4th of July. It is the 21st of June. <laughs> it's like crazy. Um, and normally I would, let me just open up a couple windows here so you can see me, but then I have to shut them all to make it cool in here. Uh, normally I would head to the lake uh, if it's gonna be that hot. And then I go in the later afternoon, um, catch that afternoon heat and then it cools off and it feels really good at the lake in the evening, like, like early evening. But that's what everyone is going to be doing today. Like it's technically the first full week of summer and first hot, hot, hot day, not having school and everyone is gonna be at the lake. I'm like, no, I'm not doing it. And the girls didn't wanna do it because we wanna go on Wednesday when all of our friends are gonna try and go. They didn't wanna do it back to back. So. We're gonna stay away from the lake, stay cool. Um, but I think Kaylee is going to the lake today with her friends. I'm hoping she comes again on Wednesday. Um, I don't know. 
I think it's different for her now that she can go with friends and not have to have me there. So, changes how often she wants to go. But, anyway, I don't have anything exciting on the plan today, but maybe Jason and I will go do something. Just because all the kids will be gone. So, <laughs> okay, when I said we really weren't doing anything today, I wasn't kidding. Literally haven't done anything. We ran, ran our errands. I've been on the computer and we've been. That's horrible light. It's better to not have the light on. The girls are here. Did you guys have fun outside? Yeah. You did uh, water on the trampoline, right? This light. Yeah, that's better. But Jason just left to go get Kaylee's prescription, get his car washed, car gassed. Okay. This just came in the mail. Um, oh, what, what were we paying for? Oh, I got Kaylee signed up for her written driving test. Once she passes that, she can get her um, actual driving test scheduled. But let me show you what I got in the mail. All right. I got thank you cards. I'll show you those here in a second. And then I got this. It's like a mystery. What is it? What could this be? I'm, I'm gonna try it out here. Yeah. All right, let me show you the thank you cards. Those are just the envelopes. Here's cute little flowers to kind of tie up the envelope. And then here are the cards. They're cute little um, gold foiled thank yous. But there's a couple different colors. So there's this pinky color, and then a lighter pink, and a gray. Mm -hmm. They're just kind of different shades. I think that's, no, Ashley. And then a darker gray. But I think the cutest part of these is the envelope. Are um, these for other people to give away to, or? They're to thank everyone for help with the funeral. Oh. So inside the envelope, see how cute? And it matches some of these flowers. Yeah, that matches the flowers. Isn't that really pretty? So I got it mainly for the envelopes. And the flowers are really cute. There's more. But... Yeah. Alright. The kids are just dying. They don't care about thank you cards. I'm going to get this hooked up. <laughs> I'm s they're excited about it too. So oh, I need... hang on. I, you might have like gotten a sneak peek of this. I had the camera turned where you Here. could actually see it. Want me to hold the camera? I can get it. Ooh, I'm totally not Here, showing you guys the... what it is. I'll hold the camera. Okay, let me get it turned on. <laughs> it's an electronic device like we've never had before. Hang on. Here. It's a fan. Oh my gosh. Can I try? She was dying over at the oh. car yesterday. Oh my gosh, you guys. Can I try You guys it? need this. I'll go suck it. I'll go suck it. I you guys want to try it? I said I was going I'm a bit cold right there's, now, but it's There's three levels. I feels second. fantastic. Let me show you. Be a bit okay, you want to try it? Can I try okay. it? I asked for it. All right, I will show you guys I all the little. It, so I did it. All right. I did. So it's bendy. Now yeah. let me show them. You can bend. bend it. So this is what I was saying. When I'm sitting in church, I can and bend it soft, and so aim like, it up at myself. So I'm actually like cooling off cool. at church. And the nice part is it's like, I can't so she eat. can. It doesn't stay up at my face, but like. Well, it's, it's supposed to just flow up at you like that. I feel like it's upside down, but like, yeah. Can you feel it? Yeah. Okay. Is that far? Yeah, actually. It messed my hair. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, sure yeah. we have huge fans, but we can't take the sound. Yeah. Look at it. So you kind of aim it. That feels nice. Wait, is it the highest? Yeah, that's the highest it goes. So it doesn't blow you away. <laughs> no. It doesn't blow your hair either. No. It's kind of. Nice. It's nice. Okay, let me try it back on. Because it uh, is mine. It's going to oh. wear it every day. We should bring it to the beach on Wednesday. <laughs> no. Oh, so fantastic. Oh, see, I can walk around and I get cooled off. Like away from it, you guys can't even hear it. It's like not even noisy at all. Well, oh. all but like when we are going to an amusement park this summer and this, and it's so easy to like fold it up. Turn it off here. I think I can just like fold it yeah. like that. Just kind of 
I think I'm gonna use my like beach bag that I did in Hawaii and I can just stick that down in my beach bag when I'm on a ride and then I can get out, put it on my neck, cool down. This is like amazing. Yeah. Anyway, fantastic. And then check it out, charge it. Bladeless neck cooler. Cool and convenient. Wait, I love how like, <laughs> cool and convenient way like they could say to have a fan. <laughs> Some packaging is lost in translation completely. It's so funny. But 30 bucks, $30 on Amazon for bliss. You look up the word bliss in the dictionary, urban dictionary, and you're gonna see this picture. All you, I know you guys, I know my demographic. This is the thing. I know my demographic here on YouTube. My demographic is 35 plus women. I know that there's some men of you, out, men out there. Where's the on button? I think I turned it on the wrong, I put it on upside down. This is like the highlight of my day. Jason was making fun of me because I kept like checking my Amazon delivery. And this is why. Okay, hang on. Okay, it's kind of a two-handed get it on I guess you could do it with one. So you just hold on to it that way and get it to cinch. You guys, it's just like blowing right up into my hot neck face. Like this is the area you're always fanning. So you guys need one of these. Leave a comment below if you're even tempted. I know it's past Mother's Day, but if you didn't get what you wanted for Mother's Day, or you need yourself like a summer gift for the heat, you guys, there's record heat all over the country. Okay, my uh, camera disc ran out of space and needed to make sure I had all the footage from my mom's funeral on, I have it on two external hard drives just to be safe. This thing, I'm just gonna tell you what I was doing when, I, when it died. I can like just walk around, like I can be in the kitchen, right, and I'm doing dishes, and it's hot, and got my fan. And it stays with me, look at this. It stays with me, and go in here. In the summer, the laundry room was always the hottest. Standing here, I don't need to move my fan. Totally have it with me. You can even take it in the loo. Mm -hmm. Nice little moment in the bathroom. Fantastic. You need one of these. Leave a comment below if you even want one. I know you do. I know you ladies do. Okay, Jason's home. I want to see what he thinks of this. Oh, nice. He didn't actually make fun of it. I will give him that. I thought you'd make fun of me for wanting this. Is this just the top? Um, yeah. And then you hit the button here three times. <laughs> I can see why you would like this. I mean... Yeah. Yeah, and it's like... Oh, it even angles in and everything. Yeah. It's, it's, it's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, I can see why this, yeah. All right. Uh, then you just don't turn it off. Yeah. On an airplane, can you imagine, like, when it gets hot on an airplane? Just sticking airplane, that thing on? Not uh, yeah, it is. How many batteries does it take? It plugs in. Oh. And it recharges. Well, they thought of it right. I mean, this not being fixed is really smart. There's yeah. like angular and stuff. It doesn't fit the younger kids very well, just because they're not, you know, but it's totally fine with me. <laughs> it doesn't need to fit them. Well, it doesn't even need to really fit you. Pretty slick. Yeah, I kind of like it. Are you going to ask Dad a question? Remember what you were going to ask Dad? We have lots and lots of leftovers, baby girl. Oh, yeah. you, no, you guys always, I don't think so. I would love to, but I think we have oh, a lot of leftovers. Oh, boo. She just wanted Red Robin, didn't you? Do you need a date night with mom? What, are you going to take her? <laughs> I don't know, I kind of want to. Well, how many leftovers are You turned the light on. We've been, we've been eating out way too much. I know. It's I know. Too easy. It's too easy. I know. I know. And it, we I know. I know. I know. I know. Stop. Fans for our face. 
So I think we have plenty fans left for fans. I actually looked up the hashtag for neck fans, and I got really worried. I was like, oh, because I was doing an Instagram yeah, post on it. And I was like, dude, this could be like neck fetish people. Like, this could be scary. Yeah, I don't know. Um, so Kaylee's coming home, and she's having this orange chicken before she goes back over. But she, I, that girl needs to be home anyway. I'll she's at the lake. Um, I also got um, some Coke Zero today that I want to try. I tried it in Utah, um, but I think we've talked about this before. It was in a bottle, and bottled Coke is not the same like plastic, plastic bottle. bottle. Um, I think I'm gonna take her because I don't want to cook. It's too hot. It's too hot to cook. So I think I might take her. Yep. Okay, so this little squirt convinced us and the heat convinced us not, to not cook at home. And I just didn't want to have peanut butter sandwiches. So we are going to Red Robin. Took Kaylee to her boyfriend's house. They're babysitting tonight, which is fabulous for them to do. And Abby's at home. So dad's right there. <laughs> um, I'm excited for our little town to start their streeteries again. I'm looking forward to like and it was a COVID thing that they started it for, where they shut down the streets and have all the restaurants come out into the street and oh, set up yeah. their tables and stuff. But I think it's really nice and fun for the town and it gets way more business that way than, because if we don't have restrictions at the end of the month, then they can have indoor seating too and then even more outdoor seating. I think it would be fun. I enjoyed going to eat down there when I it did was too. outside. I'd go indoor, outdoor, it adds to the... It's just the ambiance of like, yeah being outside and the flowers it's really and good. yeah so I think they could actually like make it a summer double thing. their income and and on the weekends especially I think it's great yeah so I hope that they do that because there are restaurants that I'd like to try but it's just nice to like eat outside we'll just go to Red Robin we brought Skull King with us so we can play a game while we wait for our food it's a really fun game if you haven't played it yet you should totally get it but uh we, are, we like games that are competitive and that have points and <laughs> winners. That's what we like to have. Winners and losers. <laughs> that's There's no losers in this family. <laughs> that's horrible parenting. We don't do like participation of, uh, trophies in this family. Like either you Except win. the fact that you gave Abby shoes because she won. Really? She did win. Well, that was like that's a she actually, long yeah, game. She actually won. What I'm saying is you don't get a trophy if you just played the game. You have Good to shoes. <laughs> you have to like, you know. Oh, anyway. Good I have like horrible lighting, so I'm gonna turn this off. Right okay, 30 minute wait. I don't think we're gonna have to wait 30 minutes. Oh. I think some people will have to like bail out and we'll get a seat. So we're gonna walk over to our little pond. It's not really a lake. They call it the lake over here, but this is where we usually go and walk off our dinner. <laughs> we're just gonna go over here ahead of time because it's shady and we could use a little walk. This is handy. I tell you guys, I have no qualms with this, but we have a problem. Let me turn this off so I can hear myself. It's kind of in my ear. Yeah, you want to have it for a second? Chelsea. Okay, so um, they're out of fish and they're out of grilled chicken, which is exactly what we wanted, right? Exactly. Yeah. So that's kind of a bummer because I wanted something fresh and like not heavy. Yeah. And we're stuck with pizza or um, beef. So I guess we'll get beef. I mean, you get, can get beef, I guess. I guess we could get a salad, but I'd want like a grilled chicken uh, salad. Yeah. So, I mean, anyway. <laughs> so that was possibly like the worst. Red Robin experience well, we've had. It's strangest. It's strangest. It I guess worst. not. It wasn't the worst. The food was good. Strange. We got the food we needed. I think I just got a bug. Closed an hour early. Yeah, they they 
the manager just called it. She's like, we're closing. I'm not doing this anymore. They're out of the grilled chicken and they're out of fish. fish. Basically everything everybody wants. Yeah, it's like half the menu. And they have like one waiter working the whole store. One waiter for the entire Red Robin. And That's why there was a wait for us to get in. Cause he's like, I, I think there was no more than like four tables like seated at one time. Anyway, and I just think the manager's like, we're not doing this anymore. They only had one cook and I'm, I think he might've been part of like, I'm not doing this. You know, anyway, so then it was like confusing to that guy who was serving because then he had to like close us all out and be done. And then Honestly, he probably started all the cleaning process, that, right? You know, it's you just like you slowly do that before you close, right? And all of a sudden, it's like, wait, what? We're closing, yeah. So usually, like the last out. hour or two is like you slowly you start, slowly start prepping things, and doing things. No. anyway. It was just chaos at the end the cup the family next to us they forgot to bring her credit card back to her she's like I kind of need that they weren't getting us our to-go boxes and we're like we just want to go home anyway now we can say we closed down Red Robin I know whoop, whoop. the last one's out yeah we don't even drink <laughs> we don't close anything down we just party we're high in life on root beer high in life yep anyway we're gonna sign off tonight because these two need to go to bed had no intentions of having them out past nine o'clock tonight. Not that it really matters at summertime, but just did not think it's that we would be at Red Robin. A little more in bed. They're tired. They were in the sun all day today. Today, so kind of. Well, you did come back in because it was too hot. Yeah. You, wa I watched all these kids like walking home from the park, and they were just drenched in sweat, and I they want, were like exhausted. I want all of our subscribers to comment below how hot. It it's is. your hottest day. No, yeah. how hot is it when you're watching the video where you're at? Yeah. Because like I know uh, a lot of the US is like crazy hot. I'm curious how it is in the UK. I mean, maybe we've got some people over in the Middle East at one point we're watching. Anyways, uh, just comment below. Just put your temperature on how hot it is when you watch the video. I'm curious. Yeah. To see. Or cold, I guess, whatever the temp is. Yeah, maybe. Maybe there's some people down in, uh, Having winter in Argentina or Maybe. Australia or something. Um, yeah, because we never have temperatures this hot, like I said, before the 4th of July. Like, ever. In the 20 years we've lived here, this is we've hot. never gotten to 92. Yeah, this is hot. Before the 4th of July. 93. 93 yeah, was your height, what you saw. It's hotter yeah. than normal. A friend was playing soccer and that, and I'm like, yeah. like, you die? Yeah, it's too hot. Some anyway. We're gonna sign off. Let us know how hot it is for you guys and how you're dealing with the heat. Tomorrow it's supposed to really cool off. Get back down to the mid 70s, mid to the high 70s. I can totally handle that. So we'll see you guys next time. Take care. Click on that notification bell, you guys, if you have not done so so far. And a subscribe if you haven't done that. Take care.